part of our experience at UCLH, we've audited our infusion-related reactions. So one question about a biosimilar rituximab is, is it safe to adopt the rapid infusion rates that people use for the originator product? So that is, for patients who've received their first uh, dose of rituximab without an infusion-related reaction, subsequent doses are given over 90 minutes, in contrast to the licensed way, which is over several hours. So a key question that people have when switching is, is it safe to do that with a biosimilar monoclonal antibody? So we looked at our first 300 infusions and monitored uh, infusion-related reactions according to CTC toxicity criteria and found no excess of infusion-related reactions. We've submitted this experience uh, to ASH as an abstract and I'm pleased to say it was accepted for poster presentation at this year's annual meeting and by sharing our experience hopefully we'll have will deliver confidence to other people to adopt this practice so that there's no adverse impact on their daycare capacity by going back to a longer infusion unnecessarily.